All right, kind of a little intermission. Uh, so we're pretty far into the game, right? Uh, I got to a point where I was heavily underleveled for, I would say, maybe most of the main missions coming up, right? I'm level 25 right now, 22 and 24 were the next two, and I thought, okay, it could go all the way to 50 before I finish the game. Uh, so what I want to do is go, like, level up. So I found the best source of XP farming is to take this thing down over and over. I'll show you the Thunderjaw, which it's intimidating at the start, but I also have this. I'll go ahead and show you guys my inventory. I got these three pieces of legendary gear. Uh, I've been using this one. I haven't upgraded them, but I got these from the arena, which I'll show you in a second. I wanted to show you how quickly I can, I guess, take down... I got all of these, by the way, from the arena as well. I'll show you that in a minute. All right, here's what I've been doing. Rather than uh, calling my mouth, I've just been kind of going over here. I did this for maybe an hour or two. You guys can kind of time it how quickly this works. Um, there's my mouth over there. I should have called it, but it is what it is. So this is pretty tough to kill, but it has these like little disc guns that you can just pick up. And it does so much damage. You get about 4,000 or so XP per takedown. I pop this little face paint on, you know. And then shoot these guns off of it. First, you can shoot this other stuff if you want to. Not necessary. Uh, it does a little extra damage. You can already see I've got like half health. Sometimes it hits me. Take the disc launcher. Aim up at it. Oh my god, hold on. Go over here and grab this one. It's kind of hard to see sometimes. That's got before you. One more and it should be down, yep. Not only do you get about 4,000 XP for that, you get a bunch of stuff. Look at all the stuff I just got. It's a good way to farm it. Here's another thing. What happens if you get, like, I, I thought, okay, you, you take it down once, it's, it's over, but I noticed this when I went back to, there's a campfire over here, which I kind of use as, it has like a bench and everything if I want to upgrade. You'll look back, I'll kind of show you this, it'll still be down, then you get about right in here, which is crazy, I even know the exact spot. You look back and it's respawned, and it just, you can just do that as much as you want, so... Rather than doing side quests or anything, I didn't want to spoil anything else. If I'm going to do any kind of story stuff, obviously it's going to be with you guys. Uh, so you come back here, you can use this, and then fast travel. I'm going to use this really quick. Fast travel for free. I'll show you where the arena is really quick. Uh, where is the arena? I'm actually lost now. Here it is, over here. So I found this. I was like thinking, I want to get legendary gear. And I didn't know like... Best way to do it, looked up some guides, and there was like a lot of long quests. Well, at the end of the day, I was like, what is the, the fastest way to do this? Um, so, I found this arena, which we've we've been here during the storing and everything. Uh, I think it's through here. I've only been in here a few times. Obviously, we had a story mission when we came here. Uh, you go back here, and if you want to do like... Oh, if, by, by the way, if you're farming that that machine back there that I was just farming, if you get into a tough spot, just turn on story mode, where, like, I play on normal usually, but for stuff like that, you can turn on ease or even story, which it, it you do with more damage or take less damage. So, this had all these challenge sets, intermediate skill, and it's like, it'll be like, take down two of this type in a minute 30, stuff like that. I did all of them. I literally just, like... I mean, it, it was cool to see, but I don't think it would have made for great videos. Um, I tried some of these, and they were really tough. Yeah, like four Apex Stalkers. I The best time I got was 51 seconds for that. Some stuff, like this last one, it, it's pretty wild. I had to turn on story difficulty for this one, because it was just 7.30. Did it in 3.25. You get the same stuff. What you get for this, you have to pay the challenge fee up top. It's like 250. A lot of them aren't that. We'll see what some of these other ones are. One, 100 for that. But you see it gives you like six arena medals on the, the middle right. We'll see you, you later, take those medals and then you come over here to this vendor. And uh, go to trade medals. And then that's kind of where you just go in and just buy this stuff. It's essentially as easy as that. 
Um, I bought these three just because, hey, I got tired of using green and blues. You can get them early in the game. I put this outfit on just because I thought it was the best of the three. But I wound up getting all of them. Um, this one had the concentration, deep concentration, the regeneration for it, stamina regen. Um, I didn't like the low health stuff, so I didn't go with that one. But I also bought these. Which, they didn't, they're like 16 a piece. There's only four you can get. I just thought, like, that was a cool way to Good do it, though. So that's kind of how I leveled up. Well, About to go and continue the main story. Uh, first off, thank you so much for joining me kind of each day I've been uploading this. I kind of had a feeling I would have a moment kind of like Assassin's Creed Odyssey where I just farm. Um, I had to do that in the main game to be able to complete the story because a lot of the enemies just got so high level I couldn't even do the missions, you know. So by the end, I was like extremely powerful. I didn't want to go too far with this. I think like the max level is like 50. Um, but that's a good farming technique, and that's the best way to get, like, the legendary gear early on. I thought that was actually pretty, pretty simple process, and I didn't really have to do anything. So, um, you guys are awesome. About to go ahead and continue the main story. It'd kind of be like a transition, but this is kind of the intro versus the usual, I guess, intros. But love you guys. Best audience ever. All the likes greatly appreciated. And let's get it. All right, we're good to go. So right now we're doing the quest. It is called the Sea of Sands. Go to Poseidon's coordinates. Oh, somebody might ask about this. I figured I would show you. Uh, I upgrade a lot of the skills too. Level 25, almost level 26 actually. I got critical boost unlocked. I'm not using that. The one I like the most right now is ranged master. Uh, I really like the overall like damage boost. 60%. That's only tier 2 out of 3. Once I get five more points, I can upgrade. I'm, I don't know if it goes to 100 or what. That'd be insane. Um, I have toughened. I could use that, but I also unlocked overshield, which I felt like maybe I would do this one down the road. Uh, which I'll go ahead and equip it now. Nice little overshield. That might that might be helpful for the rest of the story. All right, let's go ahead and call our mounts and get going. Kind of a different type of intro for the video. I wasn't really trying to like show what I had been doing. But I didn't want people to be in the dark. Like, why is he so high, high level now versus the last video? So, I felt like there would be a moment like that, though. Because I did the same thing with a lot of other games. Uh, Assassin's Creed stuff. The last few games have been pretty grindy. I think Origins. Uh, Odyssey and Va Valhalla, which I still want to finish that game one of these days. Might play the DLC coming up. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of... I had the urge to play it. I was like editing videos and my PC was kind of stuck like just making content. And I was like, well, let me just farm, I guess. or try to find a way to level up a little bit. Then I found that and I was like, all right, I'm about to just do this until I hate myself. Now the arena stuff, I thought about it. I was like, you can actually re replay all of it, by the way. Um, you run into a lot of different machines. A lot of Apex machines, which you can get a lot of the materials from them when you take them down. Now, I guess the strat... It's so, so weird they're all just kind of just chilling there like that. Here, let me get off the mount. It's kind of bugging out on the rocks. Yeah, like, if you do the arena stuff, what I would suggest is... If you get stuck, put on, like, the story mode. Like, the concentration lasts longer, stuff like that. Um... But also, on, on top of it, you run into so many different machines that are spread out through the game, it'll fill in, like, most of the... I call it the Pokédex. <laughs> it's this thing right here. Uh, machine catalog. There you go. You run into all this stuff. It, and it's insane, because there's, like, different versions of each one. I think the scariest thing I fought... Let me see. Oh, where was it? Hold on. I fought something in there that was insane. It was, like, a... Uh, I don't know what it was. I can't find it. It's like a crocodile almost. Um, I can't even find it. I fought like a giant turtle in there. It's like, I don't know which one it is. Might not be on there. Uh, but that was more like the highlight. It was fun, but I just don't know if I would have... Since I can replay it anytime, I didn't know if it would make for a good video or not. Because I was just in there for like two hours farming. All right, here it goes. I didn't... No, I'll say this. I didn't play the first one as much as I played this one. When I wasn't making videos for that one, I never had the urge to, like, grind. You know what I mean? Whereas this game, 
It's fun, man. It's it's a lot of content. I plan on getting to level 50. Probably not before the end of the game, like my main series, but after I finish it, I'll be doing all the side stuff. Want to explore all the different parts of the map. Want to, you know, get each tall neck un unlocked. That's my overall goal. Um, just kind of go from there, you know? I've just been chilling playing this game, though. It's a lot of fun. The game is ginormous, and I, I don't know getting 100% would be possible for me, but... Las Vegas. It's actually crazy we're here. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Let me get some of these campfires. I know she's talking. That's true. Be able to find a way down through one of these structures. I didn't realize. Oh, another thing I, I learned so much about the different elements, or whatever you want to call them, the, the different types of uh, things to use against different enemies. Um, I learned so much about like the different types of weapons, like the Forge Fall thing, the Blast Forge, and then the Death Seeker's Shadow. Those are the three new legendary weapons I have. This thing is insane up close. It's like super fire, uh, not super fire. It, well, I guess it does kind of do the whatever damage that's technically called. The thing that does the most damage is the advanced precision arrows. That's why there's only four available and they, they take a lot of stuff to actually craft. All right, let's look around. Kind of collect some stuff since I haven't really ever been over here before. I, I was taking it back, and I was like, I, I remember when uh, I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The la One of the last bosses of the game was, like, running from you. And I had a crazy, like, arrow, arrow build. Data to override that machine might be in another cauldron. And I think I, like, one-shot him in the head. It was actually insane. I mean, I guess we're going to be fighting you. Overload them really quick and then just stagger. Used to be scared of stuff, now I'm not. It's amazing when you level up and are actually like where you're supposed to be, what you can actually do. Nice, let's go. The one thing I'm glad I put a lot of points into is the concentration. The longer it lasts, the better. It's actually so good. All right, let's see what we're doing. We're supposed to go like over here. I'll just stay on foot. These arrows don't take much to craft. Um, one of the reasons I'm still keeping these three things on, this is like what I've always had in the videos. I haven't found a good replacement for these yet. I guess like the legendary has three of each. That's why there's different things to pick from. But like I don't have anything else with like the corrosion type stuff. So I kind of leave it as is, you know. Oh, and I can also load up. Let me show you. I can load up three different arrows at a time if I hit R1. Well, not. You have to be aimed in to do it. You see the little, like, on the bottom right, there's a bar. Now I have three arrows loaded. You can kind of see the bottom of the screen. Her hands, she's holding three now. It's just like a different type of thing you can unlock. Pretty cool. Haven't really used it much, though. I'm actually really excited to see the rest of this game. I don't think we're, like, we're probably not even halfway done, if I had to guess. I've heard it's like a 30-hour game, and I think at this point, I'm maybe... 12 to 15 hours in. I better check it out. Just collecting some stuff since this is... These are useful. You know, crafting everything. If I see them, I'll get as many as I can. Um, this area reminds me of Remnant from the Ashes a little bit. Where you stand on, like, the platforms, and that's how you get, like, special gear. You gotta, like, walk a certain pattern. Well, let's see what this says. Let's investigate the flooded ruin. 
The drones, I'm not sure how to take those out. They have like a shield about them, and I don't. I've tried every different arrow I have. Because there's one actually flying around the uh, the enemy I kept farming. It's got to be in here, right? This looks like an important spot. Oh, we got a little campfire too. Don't mind if I do. Someone's been through here. I've been doing quick saves if I can. I forgot you can just fast travel for free when you're at a campfire. All right, it's up here. Uh, let me look around down here. I see something over here. Hold on. Ooh, pry open. Here we go. Sturdy hard plates. Okay. I'm so happy I got decent gear now to where for the rest of the game, I don't have to worry about like upgrading a blue or, or green or even purple really, you know? I can just focus on this and be done with it. Because that was one of my biggest things. I didn't want to waste materials because I knew that there would be something better at the end. All right, we did a full lap for no reason. Here we go. I was out of... I was so close. To drowning, maybe. Not not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. And you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appeared. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark One. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule, mm. hammer, and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. All right, why are you here? Uh, your friends, I'm curious. You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora. And thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abadund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. Oliver is always like that calming effect after the dialogue where they're slowly getting back into their stance of like, hey, ask me something else. What's so important down there that you'd 
risk your life. Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. Hmm. Can I swim down? Grandfather, embers. I'm not going to ask all these, probably. I might. We'll see. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy that... Right. Again. What happened? At the bottom. We beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games, and coins, and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred, I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane, but I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty-odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure, he found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver and a true showman. And I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen 
beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below, as you'll see if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. All right, I went ahead and just asked everything because I was like, first time seeing all this, why, why not, you know? I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. All right. Well, this is going to be a fun mission. I can already feel it. I think I've liked almost every mission we've done so far. There's maybe been like one or two areas I didn't like, but the actual mission itself was fine. This will be in my stash when I need it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Probably get a oh, guest list of 50. <laughs> so we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no. For him, scrapper's up. <laughs> Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. We were gonna move on, leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. Um, I didn't really want to do anything here. Can I, what about trade? Well, whatever. I'll leave you alone. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of skip on this guy. Leave us all alone. Yeah, I didn't feel like uh, getting involved. <laughs> That's why I'm just chilling. According to Moreland, the herd should be south of here. Ooh, this is gonna be sick. All right, we're going down. Let's go back up. I'm not sure how technical the next two missions are going to be that we need to do. I'm assuming... I might die here. Oh, we're good. I'm assuming that we'll Got have... The air capsule. This one. Now, to get all the machine parts. How far away is that? 243, alright. <clears throat> the good thing is, anything we fight... I'll actually be... I'll actually be comfortable with it now, you know? I also know more about the weak points. I did a lot of, like... Like, when I play games sometimes and, like, do a video for them, if I don't have any time with the game for myself, I do everything, like, live. <laughs> and some learning everything. Sometimes I don't really quite grasp something until I just sit down without talking into a microphone. I can just fully focus everything on it. Well, this is where more on set the would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. 